Hello, and welcome to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Kevin. On this episode, we're going to show you how to install a utility box, part number BOX011P, on this 2012 EasyGo TXT. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at what's included with the utility box, as well as all the tools necessary to perform our installation. Here's a look at the parts that are included when you order your utility box. Now, first up, you'll have the mounting kit, which will consist of two utility box support frames, two vertical support brackets, a latch kit, and all of your necessary mounting hardware. Now let's take a look at the utility box itself and what's included with the utility box. Now for our utility boxes, they are available in four different styles. This is the poly box that you see here. We also have a steel and an aluminum, as well as a new thermoplastic design. Now for the thermoplastic and the poly boxes, you'll receive these plastic plugs which will be used to seal the mounting hole locations. Now the latch kit that comes with the mounting brackets will only be used for the steel and aluminum boxes, will not be necessary for the poly or thermoplastics. Now that we've shown you everything that's included with the utility box, as well as given a brief description about each of the box designs, let's take a closer look at the tools necessary to perform our installation. First up, we have a Phillips head screwdriver, ratchet, 7 16ths, half inch, and 9 16 inch sockets, a half inch wrench, 7 16 drill bit, cordless impact, and a cordless drill. Now that we've talked about all the tools that we will be using, let's begin the installation of our utility box. Now the first step in our process will be to remove the rear struts. We're going to start by removing the hardware that attaches the top to the upper portion of the rear strut. Then we'll remove the hardware securing the lower portion of the strut to the sweater basket assembly. We're going to want to retain the struts as well as all of the hardware as it will be reused. Once the struts have been removed, we're also going to need to grab a broom handle or some other sort of device so that we can keep the top propped up throughout the rest of our installation. The next thing we need to do is to remove the four bolts securing our seat back to the sweater basket assembly. Once removed, we're going to want to retain the seat back as well as the hardware as they will be reused. At this time, we're going to remove the four bolts that attach the sweater basket assembly to the cart. Once removed, we can discard the sweater basket assembly as well as the hardware as none of these items will be reused. Next, utilizing a 7 16 drill bit, we want to drill out the two rivets located on the outermost holes in the bagwell area. This will allow us to install our vertical support brackets. Now you want to be sure that you drill all the way through the frame. Once you have both holes drilled out, the next thing you want to do is to loosely install the vertical support brackets with the provided mounting hardware. Now your vertical support brackets should have the feet at the bottom facing in towards each other. Our next step is to install our utility box support frames to the factory location where the sweater basket assembly was previously attached. Now there is a driver and passenger side to the support frame. The easiest way to identify these is to find the alignment pin and be sure that it's facing towards the inside of the cart. Once you've identified the proper side for the utility box support frames, you're going to attach them using the provided mounting hardware. Now the next thing that we're going to do is to attach the vertical support brackets to the utility box support frame using the hardware that's provided. Now the proper way to do this is to make sure that the vertical support brackets go to the outside of your utility box support frame. After this step has been completed, the next thing that we're going to do is to tighten down all of our hardware. So now that we have our mounting brackets fully installed and all of the hardware is tight, the next thing that we're going to do is to reinstall our factory seat back utilizing the original hardware that we removed earlier in the process. Now at this time, we're ready to reinstall our rear struts using the original hardware that we removed earlier in the process. Now before getting started on this, we must first remove whatever device it is that we've been using to support our top throughout the installation. At this time, we're going to install our utility box onto the mounting brackets, utilizing the hardware that's included. Now what you want to do is to line up the pre-existing holes on the poly box with the holes on the utility box support frame, and then we'll be able to install our hardware. Now in order to install the poly box onto the mounting kit, you first want to take one of the included plastic plugs, set it into one of the openings already in the poly bed, and then you'll attach it using the provided mounting hardware. 
Now the steel and aluminum boxes will mount in a little bit of a different fashion and if you need to see how to install one of those, we do have a video demonstrating this on a Club Car DS. So please feel free to check that out. And once you have all hardware tight on the utility box, the next thing you want to do is to install the provided plastic caps over top of the plugs that we installed. This will prevent water from getting into the holes as well as provide a finished look on your utility box. After all four plastic caps have been installed, that will complete the installation of our Poly Utility Box, part number BOX011P on this 2012 EasyGo TXT. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.